Hey there! Yeah, Christmas is over, this year will be over soon and uh, New Year is approaching and as New Year approaches we start thinking about resolution, right? Why most of the resolution is not successful? Most of the resolution falls apart within a few weeks. Why? We're going to talk about this in this uh, video and uh, I'm going to talk about uh, what's the relation between happiness and resolution. The bonus for this video is uh, how to resolve your resolution, how to get, achieve your resolution successfully. Please like, subscribe, share and comment on the bottom. Uh, that would be great and that would be helpful. Most of the resolution falls apart and why we have to wait for a new year for a resolution? Why we have to wait? You know, the reason why we wait, if we just push it for tomorrow, do day after tomorrow, next month. Not right now, this is coming, I can do it, this is coming, this fest after this festival, and this and that. Why we are pushing? We are pushing because of the fear of failure. When you kick out the fear of failure, there is no one in the world or there is nothing can stop you to get your success. Just push it out, your fear of failure. And another thing, whatever is your resolution, there should be some kind of motive behind it. There should be some kind of uh, motivation, some kind of uh, inspiration to reach your goal. Like whenever you wake up in the morning, you should think about that inspiration to achieve your goal. That will push you. Without the inspiration, you know, you'll be lazy. Oh, next day, tomorrow, I'll do it later. I can't do it. There should be some kind of inspiration. Say if you have a resolution to get in shape this year and uh, you want to lose about 30 pounds. If you start doing uh, uh, work on uh, 30 pounds at a time, what going to happen? It'd be another resolution broken. It can be a succeed, like 30 pounds at a time cannot be reached. You know, you might be succeeding within the first, within first uh, one or two weeks, uh, you might go and uh, reduce some of the weight uh, because you are on it. But as, as time passes, your willingness to do is, you know, is disappearing. You feel like I'm not this year, like you know, not right now. I can't stay without it. I need pizza, burger, ice cream, soda. You know, all those excuses going to come in. And uh, ultimately, you won't be succeeding in your... But what we can do is we can uh, divide it. Like those 30 pounds, for example, 30 pounds, if we divide it in uh, one or two pound a week is divided in a, in a time period too. Like per week, you need to reduce like one or two pounds. That's it. Is that feasible? Is it possible? Yeah, right? So if we start doing that, like you'll be able to resolve your resolution within four months, you'll be done. But you have to be dedicated. You have to push out your fear of failure. You have to divide your goal in a smaller portions. Our main goal is 30 pounds. We divide it in one or two pounds. So, you know, that gives us a more strength. We can do it. It's one or two pounds a week. Yes, we can do it. You can do it. You definitely can do it. Let's push out your fear of failure. Get out. Let's go. Don't worry. You can do it. Now, what's the relation between uh, happiness and resolution? See, as you achieve your first goal of first week, like one or two pounds, see, because of your, your breaking, like you are dividing it in smaller goals, as you achieve first goal, you feel satisfied. You feel more confident. And as you get satisfied, more confident, what it gives you? Happiness. You'll be happy. You'll be confident. You'll be ready for next week. And as, that's why you want to, any, any type of, like, not just the weight losing, any resolution, any goal in your life, if you want to set it apart, this is the main goal, just divide it in a part and in a timely manner. Within that period, you have to achieve that goal. Like finish it out. First week, second week, third week, first month. Make it the separate goals to achieve your ultimate final uh, destination, ultimate success. That's where you want to reach. You have to go towards the goal. You have to, you know, weigh, you have to, you, find the way to reach your goal to success. That's why I always say, you know, 
way to success is happiness. Always, whenever you work towards your success, as you achieve your way, like in a little bit of time, step by step, you, you enjoy that way of success. You, that's your way to your success. Now, once you achieve your goal, that'll be like destination, done, you're done. But just the way, the path to the success is happiness. We, we feel good as we uh, achieve those little bit goals, you know, de uh, divided goals. It's fun, it's, it's, it's happy, you, you will be happy and that will be your uh, everyday thing. You can do achieving smaller stuff and you'll be happy all the time. These are the small tips to be happy and uh, achieving a goal. You know, there is, a, uh, there is a quite a bit of tips like, you know, keep a note on your in a restroom, you know, on a mirror, on your door, in the entrance, on your bed, right by the bed. There is a multiple ways. If you have any of the way to get uh, achieve your goal, achieve your success, achieve your uh, to resolve your resolution, do you have, if you have any small tips, please share with us. If you can put it in the comment below, that'd be great. You know, there's a multiple ways to be uh, successful. It's not just a one trick or one way to get success. There's a multiple ways to do it. Everybody can use, have their different ideas and ways. This is one of the way, or I told you, uh, to get the success easily. Like, you know, put it, divide it in a timely manner portions to achieve your main goal. You might have some other uh, ways to do it. You can put it in a command, please. And uh, please uh, click on the bell, like, subscribe, share and help this channel to grow. Thank you and have a successful new year.